Welcome back here to the Boston Marathon finish line, and we have some great stories to tell you ahead of Marathon Monday, including two people who became a team right here in Boston, and their partnership, Lisa, has led them to some of the biggest stages in running. Yes, Molly Seidel and John Green are now headed back to where it all started, hoping she can win the Boston Marathon. He was working at the hardware store. I was working at a, at a coffee shop and as a nanny. And now, uh, yeah, now he's uh, uh, the, one of the youngest Olympic coaches ever, and I've got a medal. <laughs> Molly Seidel and John Green's partnership seems now like fate. Like he made me a marathoner. Seidel is from Wisconsin and was a national champion at Notre Dame. Green grew up in Berlin, Mass, and was a track standout at St. John's of Shrewsbury and Georgetown University. They became friends running for Boston's Freedom Track Club, but both uh, were looking for something months. different. Just because I'd been so unhappy with running for such a long time. We sat down at uh, Cabrata break Bakery in a Wellesley and so um, just had like a chat about training and everything around running and um, we just kind of took it on a two week by two week basis from there. They found jobs to pay the bills while developing their own training program and in the process rediscovered their love of running. We we're just having fun with it like just racing well. John you had never run a marathon and had never coached a professional athlete when you approached Molly. What made you think you could do it? Just we had talked a lot before um, before I started coaching her about what she liked about training, what I liked about training, and a lot of those things were pretty similar. Barely four months later, Molly finished second in her very first marathon, the 2020 Olympic trials. 18 months later, she was on the podium in Tokyo with a bronze medal. And now, Boston, a long-awaited first for runner and coach. So you know this course. So oh, yeah. Going, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know probably every inch of this course. How do you feel going into this Boston Marathon? I have dreamed of running Boston since I was a kid. I'm just really pumped to finally get to do, like, the marathon. <laughs> I remember growing up and hearing about my neighbors running the Boston Marathon and always thinking kind of similarly to Molly, is that, like, I can't wait to race this, and one day hopefully I will. After triumph on the world stage, they'll return to the place where their story started, that hardware store that John worked at before making his name as a coach. That's Green's Hardware, his dad's shop in Wellesley, at mile 14.6 on the marathon route. John, are, <laughs> is your dad going to have like a giant contingent of fans right there? I hope so, yeah. They, they got a sign, so the sign will be going in the window soon. He'll say something along, go Molly, go. And so, yeah, that'll, it'll be really exciting. I know uh, the whole store is excited to watch Molly run by. Molly's hoping the family she nannied for will be out there to cheer her on to see just how fast she really is. I would try and play with them like when I was in the middle of marathon training and I would be super slow like I couldn't sprint and they're like you're such a slow babysitter and then it's like I go out and make the Olympic team they're like oh my god oh that's fantastic who is the slow babysitter now honestly I still am slow it's just I need to go 26 miles and it averages out over the course of that <laughs> Great to talk to both of them. John, by the way, was on our Spotters Network years ago. WBZ is your exclusive home for the Boston Marathon. Be sure to spend your Marathon Monday with us. It is going to be magical. Our live coverage starts at 4.30 in the morning.